Uh, let's jump into, I guess, the bigger topic that you and I wanted to hit on late yesterday. You you sent it to me right after the show. Zion Williamson. This was a interesting, interesting piece. Yahoo Sports had a, an article on it, and now everybody has gotten it. Uh, the judge in the Zion Williamson lawsuit against his former, uh, what was she called? I it, I guess marketing rep? It was, it was some marketing, yeah, job. Yeah. Uh, oh, here we go. Gina Ford, the former marketing agent. Uh, Williamson, it, he was denied the protective order that he filed to block the uh, the agent's inquiry into the illegal benefits he allegedly received while at Duke. I am... Uh, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm a little floored. I didn't expect this. I kind of thought that they were going to come out and say, okay, you don't have to answer these questions, um, you know, et cetera. Uh, ben why, said, why would you think that? I, I thought that just because of, you know, his name, who he is, uh, I feel like Duke and and some of these NCAA teams are always protected for whatever reason. They always know people in the right places. I just assumed that, and and dumb on me to assume something, uh, but I thought they were just going to kind of sweep this under the rug and it would go away, right? I, I thought that Gina would eventually, you know, have a settlement figured out, whether it be from Nike or people associated with Duke or people associated with the NCAA, or Zion's people, whoever. There are a lot of people at risk if Zion Williamson has to answer these questions. And I just, I figured at some point, sooner than now, before this became a massive, massive story, somebody would have paid her off. Uh, tell me your thoughts here. I mean, I, 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 I think we're going in the way of the world in which we, we don't want people to be able to buy their way out of trouble, Okay. And if this lady has been wrongfully, you know, not given what she's owed, if she negotiated a deal with Duke and Nike and whoever, all right, to get him there and and he benefited from this, she's owed her cut. You know, if she's yeah. in marketing, that's all that is a fancy ass word for saying sales, all right, that she's owed a commission. And they need to pay her. He got paid. The school benefited from him being there. The person that put them together that made the deal happen deserves their commission, okay? And if you don't want her to have her commission, then you don't go through groups like her, all right? Yeah. But his dad was not kind of hiding the fact that he was shopping Zion, right? Yeah. I mean, the they had a deal with Nike. It, 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 that was above board, right? He was paid like $150,000 to coach a uh, uh, NYBL team. Right, Nike Youth Basketball League team, and and nobody else on his team was was worth anything, but no. they they put together a team just to showcase Zion. It's and, just one of those yeah. ways that they manipulate money in college basketball. That's 100%. all that is. Okay. Yep. All right. Your son is a great player. We need to find a way to pay him. So we're gonna pay you, and you take him and 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 seven scrubs and put together some you know little travel team. And we'll we'll pay for it, but he's gonna go to a Nike school. Yeah. And we're gonna make this happen. All right. If she was the, you know, the technical agent, you know, marketing person, the person in charge or whatever over that account, she had some type of deal in place, but because all this money is dirty and underhanded, it's hard to enforce those things. And she's saying, I think I'm owed this money. And yeah. I would like to bring that dirty money into the light. I think it's a, a smart play and by I her. I think we live in a world now where we're tired of rich people being able to skate by on their money. Yeah, we're the, afraid the of FBI them thing for their ways out of out of justice. And, and not that Zion's in the wrong here, because I don't think the thing is against him, but it's against Nike and it's against her former employer and, and Duke and and, know, and so Duke so. and all the other people. Everybody that benefited from this deal that she was a part of making, and and she's the only one that got cut out. So now you just burn everybody. Yeah. And, and yeah, I absolutely think. Now, on appeal, he thinks he can get off and whatever. That's fine. You can try another judge. But I, I'm going to tell you this. It won't surprise me if the other judge says, no, no, we would like. This is not a Fifth Amendment situation here. Your rights and your freedom is not in jeopardy at all. If you show up and, and, and choose to not speak out, you don't go to jail. So th this is not a, a Fifth Amendment situation. 
All right. but, but you will lose the suit if you decide not to speak. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. No, because it's a civil suit, if you choose to not speak and they force you to speak, you will lose. Yeah. You will lose. Yeah. That, I, I, I'll tell my you assumption this, that was, could be the that could be the option of the settlement. The problem is is the suit's for a hundred million dollars. Yeah. And the settlement will it, never be close to that. The, the the settlement won't be close to that. But if he didn't show up to speak and Duke didn't didn't cooperate and all the people that you know that they testify just don't or they they subpoena because this is a court of law still. You still have to if you're subpoenaed, you you gotta show up and you gotta talk. Yeah. Um if they choose not to, those people could be held in contempt, not just lose the suit. Yeah, no, you're you're right about that. Uh, my assumption was that they would they would protect Zion Williamson, like I was talking about before, uh, that they would protect all these big big time people, and it really comes down to whether or not a judge, whether there is precedent or not, which is what was brought up in the article, whether there was precedent or not, uh, it depends on it, if a judge wants to hear this stuff. Like yep. that's that's the biggest thing. Like that does. Does the judge, whichever one ends up getting the appeal, want to hear what actually went on? And and then we'll see. I mean, it just it it's all up in the air. You never know what's going to happen with these things. Um, you know, I I thought this thing would be done by now, and it's not. And it is going to get really interesting in uh, in Durham, North Carolina. I'll tell you that uh, they they don't want this stuff coming out. Uh, I think Zion's family doesn't really care at this point. I mean, he's already in the NBA. He got a seventy five million dollar Nike deal. Like he's He's good. It really doesn't well, they matter. Care, they care other about than, their son being held in contempt. Yeah, that's that's the issue. So that would not look good. I'll tell you this: the NBA don't want that either. No. They do not want that image. No, no, no. The the biggest names here that are that could end up in trouble are Duke and Nike. That's the biggest thing. And then the NCAA will have to get involved with Duke, and obviously they don't want to do that because Coach K hung the moon to them, right? So. Yep. Here's what it is. Uh, Michael said, glad y'all are doing the show, Gary. Calming to hear about sports and not everything else that's going on. Yeah, we uh, our show is a respite. It, it's an escape from uh, from real life for a little while. We we talk about sports. That's the way it goes. Uh, ben said, are we not talking about the NBA format today? Uh, no, because we're going to push that to tomorrow. Tomorrow is the Board of Governors um, uh, call that they're going to have at like 1230 Eastern time. Uh, so by the time we come on, we will know officially what Everything will be is. official. Right now, yeah. it's we got leaking stuff, and 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 we've had so many rumors and and possibilities and opinions or options thrown out there. I'm tired of talking about possibilities. Call me when something's official. Yeah. So we're that's we're going to talk that's when a it's Chris official. Thought, by the way, I am sick of talking about this might happen, that might happen. Call me when it's official, then we'll talk about it. That's a, yeah, when I brought it up to Chris today on, on whether or not we need to talk about it today, uh, he mentioned that, and I, I agree. I mean, there's so much other stuff that, that we can fill the show with. There's and no well, reason. And the problem is, is we've had 19 different things floated out. Yeah. And, I, and don't get me I, wrong. I trust, this is, Woj, I trust Woj, but yeah. at the same time, he's floated things out there through this whole pandemic that were possibilities or, man, I got real strong emphasis that this is going to happen. And what he's producing now is nothing like that. So I'm assuming he's right because we're down to the dick cutting time, okay? Yeah. We got to do something or, or we're not going to finish the season. So I'm guessing he's right. We'll have an official statement tomorrow before our show. We'll cover it all then. You got that right. Uh, Damian Estrada jumps in on YouTube. He said, money is the root of all evil. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think we can uh, 